but uh, I'm sure you see, can see where the work needs to be done. Yeah, I think that's pretty pretty obvious to be honest with you. I think we, the reason why we went three at the back, um, we were going to set out like that for, from pre-season. It was pretty it was pretty clear that we were going to going to try and work at, at having building solid foundations, if you like. I think you know when you can see 93 league goals last year and you get relegated, conceding at least three goals every game. Nine times out of ten, ten the first fifteen minutes of a game, and it's game over. I think it was that was a big priority for me over the summer. Um, so I'm delighted for the boys and the extra clean sheet. Um, they are one beating. Um, I would like to have gone away nicking a one-nil win, which I think they've got chances to do it. I think they've seen Lord in the post, um, and he's had he's had two chances that, by his standards, I think he'll he'll be kicking himself at night. They'll be running through his head, thinking he should have put one of them away, but. Aidan Grant probably made two great point blank saves as well. So you know, I think one game was one goal was always going to decide it if it was going to go either way. But I think a draw was a fair point. There's still changes to come. Of course, you've got players that are sidelined. Femi being one who would have opened the game up yeah. tremendously with his pace. Yeah, you know, I think when you when you lose a player of, of that standard, and I think everyone, every Corby Town fan has seen that through the summer. He is he is a live wire. He's going to be a big big player for us this season. So. To miss him um, today, and, and it be the way it was a nil-nil, you think you know what he could he could be the final piece in that jigsaw. So, got a big, a very good player to come back. Um, we're hoping it. You know, he's got a chance for Tuesday, I think, realistically, probably next Saturday. So, um, we're hopeful that he can get back in as soon as he can. Going forward, obviously, as you mentioned, you've got a game on Tuesday night. Then another big away game, a long way away. Uh, a good nine o'clock start in the morning, and they do come thick and fast at this time of the uh, season. Yeah, they do. You know, I spoke to John obviously in the week. I don't think the league table is going to take take shape probably till ten games in. But ten games in, you're probably talking mid mid October, uh, or sorry, mid September. By the time we get them in, so they're going to come thick and fast. Um, but that's good. You know, the boys need to build on that now. They're young, they're, they're fit lads. I want the games. Um, to come sooner rather than later. I think I think the lads are chomping at the bit. It's been a hard pre-season. They've, they've been doing doubles and triple sessions. They want the games now, so it's it's over to them. I think we've just fell a little bit short today. If we take a chance, we're going to game football. That's about it, really. There's not much more I can say to that. Obviously, it is the first game of the season. You can see what work needs to be done, but going forward, it, it's getting the prep right and making sure you're playing football on the park. Yeah, you know, we're doing everything we can. You know, the boys are in there now, have nice baths and drinking protein shakes. They're going to go up for their food. We'll have a light session Tuesday before we get on the bus. So we're doing all we can, to be fair. Like I say, we go to Hales Owen on, on Tuesday night. Um, look, looking to get our first three points of the season. We win Tuesday night, four points from the first two games. We produce that all over a season. I don't think we're too far off. Excellent. Well done today, Tommy. Cheers, Joe.